Ouija board deck actually did something tonight. So I just finished playing at the locals with my Ouija board deck and it did much better than I thought it would. <laughs> Nothing game changing mind you, but I out of the four matches, uh, two of them were victories, one of them was a loss, it went to game three, and the other one was a loss. Uh, only two games, but I was only one letter short of finishing the message, but my opponent was able to deal with this. So anyway, I did change my profile a bit since the one I posted last week. If you want to see that one, you, there's a link in the description below. But this is the profile of the Ouija board that I played in competition. So for the Ouija board itself, you only need two Ouija boards and just one of each of the spirit letters. Monsters, there's barely any. I have three Spirit Reapers. These are really good for defense. They cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, it's also a dark monster, level three, so that's very important. And if you do happen to take a swing at your opponent's life points, you get to randomly choose a card from their hand and send it to the grave. And three Battle Faders. Another one that's good for defense. It can also be recycled. And it's a dark, uh, level 3 or lower, so again, that's very important. And to round it off, just one lava golem, because it's searchable, and you can use it to get rid of your, well, any problematic monsters your opponent has. For magic, I have two dark occultism, well, dark spirits mastery. All this really does is, with cost of one card, you can search your deck for a fiend monster or a Ouija board. And there have been times I used it to search the lava golem, because he is a fiend, but most of the time I use it to get the Ouija board. And on a different turn, what you can do is you can banish this from your graveyard. You can return any spirit messages, including the Ouija board, from your graveyard or your hand to the bottom of your deck in any order, and you can draw the same amount of cards. So it's really good for draw power and recovering your Ouija board and spirit messages. For field cards, one Mystic Mind and two Dark Sanctuary. This is the magic formula. I've seen profiles where they say they, you should use all Mystic Mind, but I don't agree with that. The problem with Mystic Mind is yes, it's great defense against monster effects and being attacked into. But here's the thing though, you still need to use your entire back row to complete the spare message and you need defense. Uh, Dark Sacrifice is a very important card because if they were, if your opponent were to use a Mystical Space Typhoon or a Twin Twisters, you need your Dark Sacrifice to protect yourself. But this is where the Dark Sanctuary comes into. Uh, what you can do is once you have all your letters set up, uh, you can replace Mystic Mind with the Dark Sanctuary and it will open up the last, well, open up your, your front row to finish the message. So yes, after experimenting and doing play testing, uh, three Dark Sanctuary, three Mystic Mind didn't quite work, but when you combine them, it's, it's the secret formula to get your spirit message out. To get out your field magic, I have one terraforming three Demise of the Land. Uh, I've been doing this quite a lot, uh, mostly through Demise of the Land, and I love it simply because it can't be ashed. So usually what I do is I will use Demise of the Land to get out the Mystic Mind first, and then I'll use my Draw Power or Terraforming to search out the Dark Sanctuary and activate it later. For Draw Power, I got three Pot Extravagance. You're barely playing anything at all in your extra deck, so this is pretty free. Three Allure of Darkness. I have a fair number of dark monsters, so this is pretty safe to use in this build. One Day of Peace, draw a card, take no damage. One All Star Goblin, because hey, uh, you don't really care about your opponent getting life points. It's all about spelling the message. For trap cards, I have three death sentences, or sentence of two. Uh, this card is two purpose. One, it allows you to recycle your battle fader or your spirit reaper. It's a dark monster, so it works. Uh, what I mostly use this card for is to finish off the spirit message. Now, it's important to use it to finish it off. You don't want to start it off because the way the spirit board works is it has to get the spirit message in order, the next letter at a time. If you were to use Sense of Doom to get the next, the second letter, for example, the board's own effect is going to try to get that same letter and it has to cycle over. So really you'll end up stalling yourself. So it's very important that you use these cards to finish the message. Only use it to finish the last three, two, or last letter 
in the message itself, the goal for game. Three Legacy of Yada Garasu for draw power, and it's a raven. You know, just to make the deck more spookier for the season. Three Dark Sacrifice. This card is insane. It has saved my message many, many times. And this is why the Battle Fader and the Spirit Reaper are so important. They're a dark monster, they're level three or lower. So a lot of time what I'll do is I'll have at least one of these cards set. So when my opponent would try to destroy any card on the field, uh, flip this up, send a dark monster from my deck to the grave, and it's safe. And one metaverse to help turbo out the Mystic Mine or Dark Sanctuary, depending on what the situation calls for. When it comes to my extra deck, the only useful card is three Striping Venom. This is a free target for super polymerization, but the rest of it is just jank for the pop extravagance. Uh, just make sure the card is legal, don't have any more than three, and you are good. For the side deck, I have two Necroface. Uh, there are occasions that your spirit messages can get banished, which is really bad, but if you just normal summon Necroface, it'll return all those banished cards back to your deck, so at least you can get the spirit message uh, restarted. Uh, two Eater Millions, it is a dark, uh, level 1 monster, so it's another target for Dark Sacrifice, but it's a really good stun card. All you gotta do is banish 5 cards from your extra deck, get him out, and once per turn, once he battles a monster, the monster gets banished. Two Palmarizations. Uh, this was a Halloween themed tournament, so I was expecting a lot of people to play dark monsters like zombies, vampires, so yes, yeah, basically a free target to, for that fusion summon I have. Two Spiritualisms. Uh, there was someone else who was also playing the Ouija board, and the great thing with Spiritualism is it's a fact that cannot be negated. So if I activate this to return any letter of the Ouija board back to their hand, the whole thing collapses and where it cannot be negated. So if they have any protection out, um, nope, it's not going to work. Two Mystical Space Typhoons. I was going to try putting in the Twin Twisters after all, but it's, uh, it has cost. So I figured um, if I only need to get rid of one card, this will do the job. And one, the Dark Door. Uh, it's just a shout out to Bakura, <laughs> really. Uh, there hasn't really been a situation where I needed to uh, really stop my opponent's onslaught because Mystic Mon and Dark Sanctuary already took care of that. Same thing with Battle Fader, but hey, it's nothing wrong uh, with having a backup. For traps, I got two Dark Bribe just for the added protection for my Ouija board and my field cards. One mistake because there's a lot of decks tonight that require searching, and mine not so much. My deck is purely based on draw power, but Mistake would not stop the searching of my spirit messages um, because the effect of the Ouija board just activates the message from deck. So yeah, that would uh, that would not really affect me at all. And one Witch's Strike, just in case they were trying to negate the activation of my Ouija board or one of my magic cards or one of my activation of one of my field cards. So. I have not seen anyone play this, but it makes for a nasty surprise. You know, you want to negate the activation of my Ouija board? Okay, flip this up, your hand and your field is gone. So I loved it. So that, my dragons, is my updated Ouija board deck. It was a lot of fun. It did better than I thought it would. So what do you think? Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And remember to be a good sport, play the game, not the fame. And happy Halloween! Thanks for watching! If you like what you see, subscribe and be sure to click on the bell for notifications. You can also check me out on Facebook. The link is in the description below. Happy doodling!